in the sewers. What are all these fucking crates doing down here? That's a good question. I don't have an answer. This has to stink to high heaven. My question is, why is there doorways with bars over them? It's not like anything's gonna like fucking wander around through there. Other than the monsters, I guess. I mean, that could be the reason. There doesn't seem to be any real feasible way to open them either, so what's the point? I'm just wondering why the sewers have to be big enough for people to wander around in them and require torches and, you know, barred doors. Isn't that what actual sewers are like? Big enough to at least walk through? In like a major city, yeah. So I was going to say, how else are you going to maintain them? Dig up the street? I can definitely see why they that's not the most common thing to do. Because you have to like shut down the roads and... I imagine it's probably just easier to fix it from, you know, the sewer itself rather than close important uh, infrastructure. Well, yeah, like I said, major cities would have big sewers like this. Castle Aqueduct. There's a thought, maybe it is an aqueduct instead of a sewer. I don't know. Yeah, that water is uh, pretty blue. Then again, how often do sewers in video games actually look like sewers? What? I mean, more frequently in modern games, but... Yeah, in RPGs, they typically look like this. Because, you know... Ah, fuck you, I'm not going all the way over here. Well, I mean, when you can throw the rat, why not? I don't want to walk that extra three feet there, either. No. Oh, random battles. God, at least it's not as bad as, uh... The, uh... The next video where random battles account for well over half the video. <laughs> I mean, you probably could have just combined that video with this one by the time you got done editing it. Well, then it would have been like almost 30 minutes long. And as we've observed, nobody wants to watch a video that's 30 minutes long, apparently. 15 minutes, 20 minutes, that's okay. But like 30 minutes apparently hits that weird threshold of people's attention spans. Oh, well, this place is still fairly, burning. yeah, still pretty on fire. Still dead people, still monsters. Although at least the monsters have seemingly cleaned up the bodies. Yeah, or eaten them, I guess. Especially those skeletons. They need they need the protein. Da da. Uh, boss fight is what I'm gonna do. Good thing you two are, and the other two people are here with me. He said, as he just grabs them by the hand and drags them along. Cecilia's just like, wait, what? <laughs> I have to admit, this Belzelt guy seems reasonable enough. It's funny because like he's wearing a bandana with a skull on it, <laughs> which is what kind of demons are these? They're demons from the uh, Lower West Side. Crips and Bloods, etc., etc. Meanwhile, media is just like we don't really want to animate the entirety of a swinging uh, ball and chain, so we'll just kind of like we'll kind of have it. Spoilers, this is exactly how the rest of the boss fight goes. 
When all you have is a hammer, everything is a nail. Essentially. And when you have a gun, everything is a target. There's a commentary there about the state of gun control in America, but I am not going to touch that with a 10 meter cattle prod. It's kind of self-explanatory. At this point, anyway. So, yeah, boss fight. Sorry, not today. I see that you don't defeat him, he just gets sick of dealing with your shit. Yep, it's one of those kind of bosses. And then he can just teleport away, just like whatever. Which is weird, because, like, why didn't he do that right after he got the teardrop? Being an underling is the same no matter where you are. Pretty much. Now think about how strong those demons have to be to carry those. Seeing as how they weigh, like... 100 plus tons. Still chalking that up to translation error. Those demons are pretty swell. Indeed. Jack over there making a lot of assumptions. Making assumptions is kind of what got us into this, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We were going to do it anyway, but you can't come along. Also, Rudy, I'm not sure how, but this is all your fault. Rudy just kind of reaches for his guns, like, alright, sorry, jeez. <laughs> The weird thing is, like, Cecilia didn't really fucking do anything wrong. No. Jack is just kind of a dick. All she said was... Well, all she didn't say was, I am a princess. The princess. I'm gonna stab you with it is what I'm gonna do. It really looks more like a knife, but that's chalked up to some sprite size. Gotta be a really fucking sharp sword. Because it just cut through that hair like fucking nothing. Just imagine how lopsided her hair would now be in real life. Maybe she just. Oh, it's like the old, the old saying measure twice, cut once. Plus, she's she went to she. You saw her. She was at school. She knows how to do this. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. It's like I got the exact fucking measurement of my hair. So if I grab it here and I cut it, I'm good. Plus, she has that time rewinding doohickey if she screws it up. Yeah, there's that too. Except she's also aware. Oh well, yeah, I suppose that would help being aware of a. Uh, And being aware of where you cut wrong the first time. Mm -hmm. That'd be pretty great, actually. You could eat a burger and then rewind time and be like, Oh yeah, I get to enjoy this burger again. <laughs> um, well, unless it works on Prince of Persia logic, where like, you reverse eat the burger. which In which case, I don't think I'd have the appetite to eat it anymore. Could you imagine how fucking weird that would be to see that? Mm-hmm. Well, see part of it. This is a sad scene. Yes. 
and roll credits. The end. Wow, I was kidding. Rudy and Jack just like, whatever. So, uh, yeah, that was a quick LB. What do you want to do next? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Haven't thought that far ahead yet. Obligatory girl dropping ball, or small child dropping ball. This all happened in the past. It went sepia tone. Hmm. Yeah. Good old Michiko Naruki. God, I get it. The king is dead. How do those soldiers fit through the door? I don't even know. I mean, granted, this did come out kind of early in the PlayStation's life cycle, so they kind of could have gotten away with being like, well, there's a game. Mm. 3D graphics are hard. Sorry, guys. And we're back. Wow, that was a quick sequel. We're running out of time, Rudy. Rudy's just kind of like... <sighs> <laughs> it's like I didn't realize we were on a time limit here. Why is an NPC just walking into a wall? Because he's an NPC. Oh. And then I fucking wandered around aimlessly in the castle for like 20 minutes. So the princess's room is also a save room. I mean, I guess that makes sense. And at no point did I think, well, I'm outside, so I'm, I could go back in. But no, I'm just going to fucking run around the entire ramparts. Rather than admit I had gone the wrong direction. Just like a real man. Your pride will be the death of you. Well, that and donuts. That fucking burger I had on my birthday was going to be the death of me, but it didn't do it. That was an enormous goddamn burger, I gotta say. I think it just looked big, because most of it was the cheese curds holding up the burger and making it taller. True. But still, that was a good 8-inch tall pile of food. And not to mention the, uh, the battered bacon. Yeah. God damn it, now I want to go to Milwaukee Burger. I really want a burger now. I'm gonna <laughs> go tomorrow. I suppose we could. Radical bromance. Junk food cravings galore. We don't eat healthy. Well, I don't eat healthy, and I'm okay with that. I don't eat healthy either. I just eat less. I love it. He's feeling bummed out. Yeah, what a fucking bummer for him, I guess. Yeah, really. I mean... Listen to this fucking cheerful ass music. I just like how that's that's the translation they went with. Yeah, it's, instead of he's feeling sad, it's like yeah, he's feeling pretty bummed out. It's kind of silly. Maybe if you guys had leveled up too. Again, I will hand it to that Belzelt guy. He did not nuke the entire village once. Uh, Cecilia handed over the tear, whatever it is. The teardrop. Teardrop. So, he's true to his word, at least. He was just like, you know, I, I could have, but I didn't, because what's the point, really? I mean, even after Jack uh, decided to act like a fuck knob and uh, went all, I'm going to kick your ass, and Bill Zuck was all like, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> whatever, bro. Sorry, we only have time for a scripted boss fight. Yeah, you're gonna have to gain at least 17 levels before you even stand a chance. Come back sometime in the next, you know, couple of years, maybe. 
Good thing I saved all those people and they rewarded me with this. I really like how I accidentally missed a couple chests. Just because of the uh, detection. Could you like go stand over there please? That would be me as a as an RPG NPC. It's like, I'm sorry, you have to stand on the other side of me before I say anything. <laughs> I'm just not comfortable with people standing to my left. So you would enjoy being a contrary NPC? I'd just be the NPC that makes the game just a little bit longer. The uh, passive-aggressive NPC. Because, I mean, if I'm not going to be a main character, well, fuck you. <laughs> I don't know anything about being a shaman. Well, you, people will expect you to heal and DPS is what's going to happen. Also, you have to keep your totems up. What does that even mean? Uh, keeping your totems up? Yes. It means exactly how it sounds. You have to continuously refresh your totems. And hope nobody actually decides to attack them. Okay, the music out here considerably less cheerful. Well, the town is still f pretty destroyed. The castle's in pretty fucking good shape. Well, they never went in there. Oh, yeah. Except to kill the king, apparently, and then they just left. I forgot. <laughs> we're pretty happy, though. We're a for profit hospital. Yes. In the great United States of America. That doctor probably isn't happy, though. Well, healer slash doctor, whatever he's supposed to be. Probably not, because he's got to work unpaid overtime. Wait, there's a mayor and a king? Well, I mean, the king can't do everything. He's got to have some people to run shit for him, you know? I don't know if I were the king, I'd be like, well, you're not the mayor. You're just in charge of the city. You handle the day-to-day -day affairs in the city. Which is what a mayor does. Yeah, but I wouldn't give him an official title. That'd, that'd be kind of like the queen saying to the prime minister, uh, I'm going to let you run shit, but you don't get a title. You're just some dude who runs shit for me. Yeah. You're not the one getting the royal D here. I will say Queen Elizabeth back in like World War II when she was in her 20s, 30s, she was pretty fucking hot. I didn't like her hairstyle. Well, it's just old-timey hairstyles. Lots of curls and buns and stuff. Eh. Well, it's video's over, so... Next time on Radical Bromance... More mild sexism, I guess. <laughs>